friends welcome back to another video in today's video we're gonna be getting it all done it is a weekend reset filmed over two days because I could not get it all done in one day anymore it is just too hard on my back but we're gonna start out by stripping the bed so I can get the laundry going because you'll see in this video I had a lot of laundry to do usually I like to catch up on the weekends with my laundry it's just easier for me that way and we only have three people living in the house so it's fine we have enough clothes to last but then on the weekends i do have multiple loads so i want to go ahead and get the sheets in the wash and then we're going to have a grocery haul and meal plan i'm going to share a couple recipes and we're going to just get everything cleaned and washed and put away and ready for the week to start <music> I have got my groceries here all unpacked. I'm gonna start out this weekend reset with a grocery haul and then I'll give you my two week meal plan. I did go to Aldi and every time I end up getting more than the last time I go to Aldi, I keep having to buy more bags, but um, they have good prices. So I went to Walmart and Aldi this week, didn't go to Sam's. So this is my meal plan for the next two weeks. We're gonna have breakfast for dinner, sandwiches, just easy sandwiches, non-pizza, barbecue chicken pizza, Philly cheese steaks, Mississippi chicken in the crock pot on a, on a bun. We're gonna have spaghetti, meatloaf, chicken tacos, baked nachos, and then several nights, probably three or four nights, we'll either have leftovers or something simple or we will eat out. But those are the main meals, so let me show you what I got. So this week Aldi took up two counters. I got all that and all that. So we'll start over here. I got more of these little mini not garlic naans. I wanted two of these, but they only had one in garlic, so I bought the small ones. And that we'll be having barbecue chicken pizza and then just regular pizza one night. Got some more brioche buns. This got a little squished in the bag, but this is the marbled rye. I don't know, I guess it's rye and like wheat, but Marion loves uh, pastrami on rye, so it's just really soft. We got some of that. Got some more of these kind of like scoops chips for our nachos. We got some more of these potato chips and that dill dip because it was delicious. Got three bags of our favorite kettle uh, barbecue chips. And then all of these, I, this is just full of the frost drinks. I actually got 12 for Jackson and then I got a cherry limeade for me. Uh, it just looked good. And then their meats there their their ground beef this is the 93.7 which is what i always get and it's only 5.99 there for a pound and at walmart this is over seven dollars so that was a really good deal so i got th three of those and then i got a big thing of chicken tenderloins this was 9.54 and it is 2.4 pounds so 3.99 a pound also these beef Shaved steak are so good. We're gonna have Philly cheese steaks. Um, these are really good, really lean. They have them. I saw them at Kroger today too. They had ribeye. They're a little more expensive, but these are really good if you've never had them. Put some pepper and onion on a on a bun with some provolone cheese. I got some omeprazole there. Omeprazole. It was three dollars cheaper than Walmart. <laughs> um, we, this is that dill dip. We really loved this on like baby carrots or potato chips. This was only $10 there, and I priced it at Walmart, and it was $12, so it was a good deal, and I needed more of those. This I just got because it looked good. She was stocking them, and it looked really good. Cheesy jalapeno potato tots. They didn't have any purple grapes, so we went with green. I got one bunch of bananas. Got some gala apples, some green onions. This was like a double pack. Got some spring mix for some salad. Marion <laughs> put these in the basket without me seeing. Chewy chocolate chips. And then he wanted these little like cosmic brownies. We got one can of soup there because he wants to try this one, but this was only $1.26, which is a whole dollar cheaper than Walmart. And then you know he likes these peanuts and raisins. He likes to mix them together, make a little healthy trail mix. And then I grabbed another bag of granola for Jackson. And then the Walmart haul is always smaller now since I buy so much at Aldi, it's so strange. Got a big old bag of potatoes, some sausage, garlic breadsticks, and 
chicken tenders. Um, Aldi did not have strawberries, but I want to make strawberry limeade, like put these in like a, my little food, not food processor, I have like a little blender, forget, ma neutral bullet, magic bullet, whatever, and then put it in some limeade. I love a strawberry limeade. So I got some of those, got a red onion. They were out of bell pepper, green bell pepper. So I got a red one, some tomatoes and romaine lettuce. Got some of these rolls for sandwiches some milk and my favorite limeade this simply limeade um, i got two cans of basically rotel some sweet peas pizza sauce and spaghetti sauce and parmesan cheese and some cooking spray i just grabbed these for snacking the did i get the right yeah honey nut checks family size Chex Mix and then um, Jackson loves this butter on bagels so I got that cinnamon sugar and then the regular butter and also the sticks of butter then uh, we got what is this Marion likes he loves to snack on this seriously sharp cabot then I got three medium cheddar cheese and then some sliced provolone and a pack of turkey bacon also when I was at Walmart they did not have my turkey my chicken cutlets that I love they're like six something a pack i needed three of those they did not have any so we went to kroger and they didn't have any so i'm gonna have to go back hopefully i'll find them this week sometime um, we got some pastrami and some cracked black pepper turkey breast some angel hair pasta and bow tie pasta and then these sounded really good yellow corn taco shells with a hint of lime we'll have tacos one night this is something I hadn't seen before, like bran flakes, but they're frosted. So I got those for me. They just looked good. Some crunchy granola bars, an onion soup mix for my meatloaf, and then two of Jackson's drink mixes. Then we got a big old box of waffles again and pancakes. Jackson's on spring break this week, so I imagine we're going to go through a lot of those. Um, or next week, I should say. Got some chocolate chips, two of these au jus gravy mixes, and then Marion got two of the tuna packs and then I got the pasta side and a rice side so this is the cheddar broccoli and then the four cheese pasta and then a couple non-food I did get some more of the zero sugar cokes and then Jackson needed some more of his vitamins and Mary needed some more I just got the big one for him and then he picked out some razor blades and we got a couple of these hooks for a couple different things we needed and then I bought this pet bowl placemat for my cats because the one I have now it has ridges in it and it is so hard to clean so this will just be nice and smooth I can just wipe it off easily it's nice hard plastic and it was like two something so now we're gonna put all these groceries away unpack everything get this kitchen cleaned up I forgot to show you what I got over here we got the dog and cat food in the in the little containers and then I bought some dog food again I bought this pure balance I think I bought this last time this is for senior seven plus both of our fur, our dogs are 10 years old now, which is so crazy. But that's what I got last time. It's a pretty good price for the amount. Got Marion's cereal and Marion's bubbly. And you know what? Clyde's not inspecting today. Maybe he got too tired and left, but Ollie's inspecting. What is that? Does it look, for, look good for you, Ollie? What is that? Does it look good for you? You like it? <laughs> Do you approve?
so by this time the first load of laundry was finished I want to go ahead and get that in the dryer so that I could get my bed made I hate having the sheets and everything finished at the end of the night and I forgot to get them out of the dryer and put them on the bed and then when I go to bed I have to still make the bed that is the worst but also I want to let you know if you happen to hear in the background Marion's mowing the grass when I'm doing this voiceover actually on the day that this video is posted so I apologize if you can hear it he just happened to go out at the exact time that I needed to do a voiceover I was trying to do it when the house was quiet but it, it you may hear it so it's spring it's the first mow and I love the first mow it just everything looks so beautiful and everything starts to really fill in and it's so nice I think I'll show you in the next clip that the grass is starting to really grow and get really green and it makes me so excited for spring and summer <music> Looks like the rain has finally stopped, but we have such a muddy mess. Look at all the grass that's growing in though, it's so exciting. We're gonna need to cut it before too long. So I wanna get the kitchen cleaned up. I wanna go ahead and get some produce soaking in some vinegar water so that while I'm unloading the dishwasher, these can soak and then when they're done, I can rinse them off and cut them up, get them prepared. It's just a lot better when they're already washed and put away so that, you know, they're easy to grab. Otherwise, they don't get eaten as fast and they'll go bad. You know, we all have that struggle. It's just so much easier to overlook them when they're still in the package and you'd have to take them out and wash them and cut them. You know, people don't want to do that. So <laughs> um, I'm going to go ahead and get the dishwasher unloaded and then we'll get the fruit prepared. So I'm going to get my strawberries chopped up. I had been told a while back that if you keep your fruit in a mason jar that it tends to make it last longer. And I think it does for me, not terribly, not a terrible long time, but um, it does make it last a little bit longer. And it's so easy to just open it up and pour it in a bowl and eat it. It just definitely makes you want to grab it and eat it rather than if it's just in that container. And the same with the grapes. I don't put them in a mason jar. I just put them in this little white basket that I found I think it was at TJ Maxx and it's just a produce keeper it keeps it kind of elevated up off the bottom so that there's airflow so that there it doesn't mold and so it's really nice and convenient so I, I bought great green grapes this time because like I said they didn't have any purple ones Jackson is funny about grapes he'll he loves the purple ones but he doesn't love the green ones to me they don't really taste that much difference let me know if you think there's a difference <laughs> I think they're both delicious but it was, it was time for me to clean the animal bowls. So this is just like a mat that I have on the ground and it catches all the little crumbs and dust and everything. So it gets pretty nasty. So I have to shake it out and just kind of like wipe down this area. And then I just used some Dawn Power Wash because the water stains and everything, these bowls get so nasty. So it's definitely something I have to do on a regular basis. Just give them a good wipe down. I don't usually film this. I don't usually film um, this taking care of my animal things. I don't know. Maybe one day I could do a video on that. But I just wiped them down really good and, you know, make sure their bowls are fresh and clean. And then this is the mat that I've been using for my cats. And I do like it because when I wash it, it does come really clean. It's just that it on the daily it doesn't get clean like I just wipe it off and it's little things all stuck in those ridges so it's just driving me crazy it is nice and I'm probably just gonna put it in my yard sale honestly but um, the new one with the smooth top is just gonna be so much easier to wipe clean 
And then I'm just using my kitchen spray and wiping this little area down. It doesn't get too bad, but you just have to stay on top of it. I just want to make sure that this area where they're eating is nice and clean. <music> So in case you're wondering, in case I get any questions, I do fill their dog bowl all the way up with dry food and they eat on that. And when it gets empty, I'll refill it. And then I give them wet food every day, twice a day, just a little, a scoop full. So um, they are under a vet, veterinarian's care. They visit every year to the vet and we monitor their weight and everything. And that is fine. Um, they have not like gotten too fat, eaten, eating whenever they can. Some dogs would eat that all up and then some would just let it sit and eat on it as they go. And that's what mine do. So um, that's just what works for them. So on this evening, I didn't want to stop and make a big dinner, so I just threw some waffles in the toaster for Mary, uh, for Jackson. That's what he wanted, and I made a, a cheese, ham and, or pastrami and cheese sandwich on that rye bread for Marion, and dinner was super simple this night. All right, so I'm going to make some simple oatmeal protein cookies. I don't have the chia seeds and the flax seeds that it called for, but... It's okay, I'm still gonna make them. They're pretty clean ingredients. It's oats, rolled oats, applesauce, vanilla, real maple syrup, peanut butter, and cinnamon. But I have this peanut butter and company cinnamon swirl. So it, this is so good. So I'm just gonna put this and then a little bit of regular peanut butter. And then at the end, I'm gonna add some walnuts and some Lily's chocolate chips that are um, sweetened with stevia just to make them a little bit more delicious because I always say everything's better with chocolate chips and those will not spike your blood sugar like regular chocolate chips and that'll make them a little more substantial with the walnuts a little more protein in them so we're gonna try this I've never tried it before but I will link the recipe down below So the recipe said it made 12 cookies, but I have that much left after making 12. So it's easily gonna make two pans. So I'm on number two cleaning my kitchen number for the second time but you know like I said it's a constant so um, these cookies though they were pretty good they were they were not like the best but obviously they're like very low in sugar they had no flour no sugar no butter they were they were pretty good and if you put the chia seeds in and the other seeds they would be you know packed with protein and with the peanut butter and stuff but I definitely would add would advise adding you know some chocolate chips or something just makes them a little more flavorful but they're really good Jackson was like are those oatmeal cookies I said oh trust me you're probably not gonna like them <laughs> and he wouldn't even try them when I told him they were kind of like healthy-ish so you know teenagers but anyways they came out of the oven I was letting them cool and Marion was helping me make the bed this bed I love this bed but like the end of it the the footboard it's so tight and when you like 
you know, tuck your sheets in and your, your comforter in. It's just kind of like exhausting to make the bed. So um, although I love the way that it looks, it's kind of exhausting. So he just offered to help me. And right now we are not using a top sheet. We're just using that kind of thin blanket because it is still kind of cool at night. So um, pretty soon though, we'll take that out and just add the top sheet instead because then it will just be way too warm. So Anyway, I've got the bed made so that when it is bedtime, it's already done and made. Jackson made his bed. Um, and I'm just keeping the laundry going because that kind of happened all weekend long. It took me the entire weekend to get caught up. But I didn't, you know, rush. I just paced myself. And when I do laundry, as I've shown before, I fold it and put it away as soon as it comes out of the dryer so that way I don't have laundry piled up that's just the way I've done it for the last couple of years and I it really works for me I haven't always done that like I've said before when my kids were all little it didn't happen that way but it does now so it's just the routine that I like so now we are on Sunday it is actually Sunday afternoon almost evening and we had a busy day just you know church lunch all those things and now I'm starting on dinner so I kept the laundry going but it is dinner time so I made meatloaf this night and some delicious delicious mashed potatoes so I have uh, shared my meatloaf recipe many times I'll link a video down below that I made years ago that has the recipe it's my mom's recipe it's my favorite meatloaf ever so that's always easy for me when I'm know I'm going to be busy because I can just mix it all together and pop it in the oven and just it takes about 45 minutes or so and it's so good and it's a homemade meal that I really did not have to do hardly anything to and I was just really craving these mashed potatoes this night. So they were a little bit of work, but it was so worth it. Marion doesn't even like love potatoes, but he was telling me these were so good. I mean, they were like better than restaurant quality. I added some green onion and some cheddar cheese. I actually was going to add some bacon as well, but I put it in the air fryer and it was turkey bacon and I it was so burnt like it was awful I could not I had to throw it away so uh, next time I make it I am going to add some bacon too but it was so so good I just made the meatloaf put it in the oven and then I finished with the potatoes and put those in for like the last 15 minutes of the baking time and just let the cheeses melt together oh it was such a good dinner and we had leftovers the next day and it was just as good I was doing this in stages so I got the meatloaf in to cook and then I just wanted to keep on cleaning and I was actually kind of fighting the sun here you can see the sun is starting to set so I just wanted to clean off my couch this is my Delomo pet roller if you're if you've never seen me use it I don't want to talk about it in every video but I do get questions it is linked down below it is amazing if you have indoor pets that like to get on your furniture or you know just you can really use it on any surface and it, it take it uses static electricity and it you know pulls up the hair and it, you don't have to like replace the sticky tape or anything like that it's just amazing and cheaper i just love it i use it every day i honestly do not know what i ever did without it crazy how much hair I get up and I don't you don't even see it this couch you cannot even see it and then it pulls up all that hair so I love it but I'm getting my vacuum out now and my dogs you can see they know they know the sounds of me getting it out and so they come attack it so I just take it into my pantry and they go in there too and then I shut the door and then I pull it out I used to let them just kind of like chase the vacuum around because they go nuts but I really honestly think that it stresses them out so that's why I put them up 
I think that it may, Belle especially, she has so much anxiety. I think it's just not good for them. So I put them up, um, just my dogs personally, not all dogs. It's just the way that they, they react. I think that it stresses them out. So I started putting them up and it makes it a lot easier for me also when I'm vacuuming. And then they just stay in there and they're totally fine until I'm finished. <music> So now I'm going to finish up the potatoes and get those going in the oven. And when I make my mashed potatoes, I use real butter and heavy cream and salt and pepper. And it is so, so good. I know there's like different people can use. I've seen people use sour cream. They say it's really good. makes it creamy. And, it, and some people like theirs thicker. Some like them thinner. I just do it until it's the right consistency. But my favorite food in the whole world of all time is a potato. So any, any way you make them. But I put green onions and cheddar cheese and I put a lot of cheese. It was good though. It was really good. And then I was like, should I put more on top? I think I'm going to. And they really didn't need to go in the oven and bake, but it just made them that much better to have that little cheesy crust on top. So I was multitasking definitely. So back to vacuuming, going to vacuum the dining room and then we'll move on to the next task. I'm moving on to my bedroom now to vacuum. My bedroom is so small and there's a lot of furniture in here. So it's really hard to get angles and good shots in here when I'm doing the floor. It's just like almost impossible. So they're never really great. It's hard to really get a full picture, but you kind of understand what I'm doing. Just going around the sides of the bed and vacuuming. And, you know, I'm always trying to get new angles because, you know, when you're cleaning the same space over and over again, it's more fun to see it at different angles, I guess. That's what we youtubers think at least we're trying to change it up make it a little bit more interesting so <laughs> i'm just uh doing my room i did also uh sweep vacuum jackson's room but i didn't film that i just try to stay out of his room or not not bring the camera in there as often but this is how much i picked up it's crazy how much you get up after just a day or two of not vacuuming so i love my vacuum it's also linked down below got it at walmart it's very affordable and it does amazing so now we're just going to put some more laundry away keep that going like always it's always um in the background i've always got the washer and the dryer going but i think i'm i think i'm nearing the end at this point Right, y'all there is dinner oh my goodness this meat from Aldi is so lean that there's you can see there's no fat I love love lean meat so it's my favorite um, and then there's the potatoes the steel dinner was so so good tonight oh my gosh makes me want it again and to me this is always kind of like a simple dinner but like uh, so homemade you know you feel like you made this amazing homemade dinner but it was like not that much work at all I love it so now I'm just gonna sweep the house I do have like a I forget what brand it is, but Marion got it for me a couple years ago for Christmas. I've used it before on here. It's like a it's mop plus broom, and you just go over everything once. But it's just not my favorite, and it's not easy to clean when you're done. It's such a pain to clean. I want to find still like a cordless one because that would just make it so much better I mean it would be amazing to have a cordless one and so I'd only have to go over my floors once it sweeps and mops and I know they make them I was actually going to work with I think it was Eureka um on and they were going to send me one and then it just didn't work out I just didn't agree to what they wanted so I ended up not but I still love that I love it and I've seen other influencers using it and 
I thought about buying it. It's just that I Marion bought me the other one and it was two hundred dollars and I just feel bad, you know, buying another two hundred dollar one. But maybe one day. So I was just showing you my bathroom. It's a hard it's really hard to see on camera like the mess. Everything kind of looks like clean when you're cleaning it. But I was trying to show you a little bit of the mess and for some reason this like faucet that we have it's so hard to clean and every little every drop on it shows up and I can't get behind it very well and it's like there's water stains on it I really want to replace it I thought like getting a black one would be nice because then it wouldn't show every drop of water on it and then of course the mirror is always dirty because I think Jackson must like spit on the mirror I have no idea every single day and I've shown him how to do it and how to clean it and it just seems like it's just always a mess but when you have the mirror right in front of the sink you know it's bound to get water on it so anyway just wiping down the bathroom now and then we'll continue doing the floors but I wanted to give this a good wipe down I didn't clean my shower I kind of like clean the shower all the time like whenever I'm in the shower if I see it needs to be clean I like wipe it down and stuff but so in this video I didn't do that but I did wipe down everything else can see it's already dark now it's now the end of the weekend and I'm gonna pull out my spin mop I love my spin mop I think it's so easy to use I'm just gonna use my mr. clean with the unstoppable scent it makes the house smell so clean and the floors look so clean it's just I love this spin mop so much <music> So I recently posted a home, like a spring home tour, but I, I'm going to try to do one like every year, like a full home tour so that you can see like what's changed and I can see what's changed and just to have that like memory. Um, so I just posted one and if you haven't seen it, go check it out. But it's the second year I've done it. So I had a comment that someone asked, why didn't I take the flooring in the pantry all the way into the kitchen and everything? And the reason is because we did the kitchen years before we did the pantry. And so the flooring was already put down in the kitchen. I do love that flooring so much. I just am hesitant because it's so busy. I'm not sure. Like I don't want to put it down and then have it, you know, regret it because it's a lot of work and it's a lot of money. And I don't know. So I, while I love it in that small space, I have said before, I think I said in my video, my home tour video that I want, I would love to put it in the bathroom. And if I do ever replace the floor in there, that's probably what I'll use. It just would have to paint the like faux brick wall because it would just be way too busy. I'm afraid it kind of honestly, Marion says that it kind of gives him like a headache if it's too busy. And so they have like a black and white one. And he said that one was just too, it just messed with his brain. And so I have to respect that too. So I didn't want to um, you don't have it too much on the floor in too many rooms because of that because it's so busy but I do love the floor pops they're my favorite floor in my house by far the flooring and the rest of the house is just this laminate and if I could go back I would do a different color but when we did this this was what I chose underneath this flooring we have real hardwood and we have refinished it before but 
it's just it needs like a really good refinishing like a professional to come in and refinish it if we were going to keep that like showing and it's a real dark wood but um it is underneath all this flooring but this one was what we chose i don't even remember how many years ago Marion put this in and obviously the bedrooms have the darker a different kind and i would love that in my whole house that would be my choice but um marion laid all this and it's really hard on his back so you know we'd have to pay someone to come in and do it so we just have different floors i know it's not ideal but it's totally fine with us um obviously if i could choose i would have it all be all the floors would be this dark wood but you know i feel like five years from now it may be a different trend and you can't just change with the trends you just got to do what you love you know decorate your house the way you love it so all my floors are different and it's fine with me it's my house i love it so i don't really worry too much about trends as much as i just worry about what i love i'm always behind the trends anyways so and before you know it they've changed again so you know just do what you love if you love the way that it looks it's your house go for it i'm always about not shying away from a project if it's something i really love All right, we're going to get these rugs laid back down and we are finished. Hopefully this gave you some motivation. We all need this motivation as homemakers. It definitely gets daunting and exhausting and uh, seeing it, seeing someone else doing cleaning their home. Um, it just kind of gives you like m motivation, inspiration to get your own space cleaned up. So thanks so much for watching. I love you guys so much. I appreciate you. I hope you enjoyed this video. Make sure to give it a thumbs up if you did and I'll see you all in my next one. Bye bye.